Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and today we're cashing in on the most lucrative business of our time, post-secondary education, where we sell people on hope and then shackle them for life to unforgivable student loan debt that they'll never be able to pay off. Well, unless they get sponsored by Sega to play Two Point Campus. Link in the description if you want to pick it up. But that's not going to be most people. Most people are going to end up in a rundown bar like this, hiding from debt collectors. All right. We should get the process started though. What do we do? What can we build? Dormitories, lounges, student unions, oh no! Wait, hosts, gigs, and parties. Oh, that kind of union. Yeah, that's fine. Tuition stuff, medical offices, staff rooms. Okay, what you'd kind of expect, that's not what, what? Battleground? Jousting? Cheese ball? Okay, there, there's some weird stuff going on here. A panic room? In case we wanted to teach students to be spies, uh, no, I don't think so. I just want to get people in debt. Let's go to manage courses, add a new one. What do we got here? Science, cooking, robotics, <laughs> knights and wizards, oh my. Academic exercise, I don't think so. Music. Oh, absolutely, we have to have music. Yep, that is something to get people in debt real quick. <laughs> Wait, money wangling? Advanced instruction in a number of classical financial techniques, including the pebble barely hustle, pretending to be dead, and just not paying people. Wait a second, that's me. No, we don't want to teach people to be me. Funny business. We want to teach them to be clowns. Yeah. And we have 10 more course points. Uh, we could just get general knowledge. Wait, internet history. Oh, but it's 30 points. Okay, you know what? We're gonna wait to get internet history. That is something we have to teach. These two will do for now. Clowns and musicians. So what are they gonna need? Funny business teacher, teacher, labs, recording studio, lecture theater. Okay, let's start at the clean building here. And let's build the lecture theaters. Four by four room with a couple things. Pretty straightforward. Just have the podium, the seats, and the money rolls in. Then a recording studio. Okay, we're gonna give them a little bit of room. Or we could not. We want things to be as profitable as possible, right? Oh, but wait, there's room prestige. And if we have a bigger room, it's more prestigious. Then we can charge more in tuition fees. Maybe we do that. And then there's some necessities we have to throw in here too. Like a music blackboard. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Okay. A what? Sure, that doesn't look cursed at all. Oh my gosh, wait, what is that? One man brass band? Excuse me. Piano, you're gonna sit nicely over here. This is horrific. We have to build the library next to this room. This is, <laughs> this is the worst contraption I've ever seen. I love it. Oh yeah, bud, I'm ready to rock and roll. Think this room's done. Now let's get that library next door. Make it huge. And same dealio, there's like required stuff and then the extra stuff we throw in adds in like prestige, extra bonuses, and all that kind of jazz. Not that it really matters, it's all about optics and marketing. And a dash of suffering by putting the study cubicles next to the music room. But of course we have to allow people to get their clown books and whatever too. But all good because the room is done. Oh and speaking of, we do need a, a science lab? For the funny school stuff? Let's throw that in here. Read across from the library as well, so all the funny kids are gonna be laughing and hollering. And this is the funny machine? Uh, that's looking kinda dangerous. Do we have insurance? We probably have insurance. This'll be fine. Funny lab is good to go, now we just need the teachers. So exterior stuff, uh-huh. Ooh, hot dog stand? Neat. And then this is teachers. $27,000 salary for this clown? Well, they're the only option, I guess. So hello, Jezebel Titan, iron bladder. You can move quickly, that's good, real good. And then we needed a music teacher. What's a board mean? Private tuition, boost teaching and private tuition. Sure, and you can move fast. Excellent, have fun. Lastly, I'm pretty sure we're gonna need a couple bathrooms and stuff, so let's just throw those in places. No, maybe not there. Maybe right near doors. Yeah? Yeah. Just like that. Or wait a second. That's a window right there? 
Oh, video game. You're too kind. Now it's perfect. I guess all we need now is some general staff, so like maintenance people to do all that. Probably need security. Good hygiene. Yeah, but come on in. And then library people? Ooh, wait. Marketing? We really want that. Uh, we probably need a librarian first. Or personal hygiene? I don't think so. Gets hungry easily? I .e. can make more money off of you? Absolutely. You're now a librarian. Oh, food. Foo. Everybody loves foo. Foo? Machines? Yes. I think that's all for like the actual like functional side of the university. Next! Let's show the students into this dumpster fire. What is the smallest possible dorm we can make? A two by two? I wonder if we can put as many beds as we want in it though. I bet we could. Could we get three? No, we can't get three, dang it. It's close. And then a wardrobe. There we go. Functional dormitory. And propaganda. Always gotta have the propaganda. You love the university. This is the best experience of your life. You will tweet about this. Yes? Good. Now let's just clone this a hundred times for all the other students. Or can we make a bigger room and then stuff more beds in it? Oh, you better believe it. Plus we can meet the minimum requirements even faster. We only have to build one wardrobe, but now we can fit in like five beds. Oh, but yeah, we got six in there. Yes, now we copy you. Ah, perfect. Everything's working out. And we can expand that as far as we want. Of course, they're still gonna need their washrooms, I guess. Oh, and our goals. We have to get 30,000 monthly profit, get five grand from amenities and 30 grand from rent? Hey, what's it, what's Orb Club? They have plenty of club items to help them develop their skills. Yeah, I don't think so. We're just gonna focus on the bottom line, or the top line in this case. And I think with everything, it can begin. Start new year, 40 points to spend. Wait, what? I thought we only had, what? We can get something else? <gasps> please, please, I want it. Where is it? Internet history. <laughs> uh, okay, one second. And this is not the internet history I was thinking of. Not complaining, looks pretty cool. Analog console, oh this is like real internet history. I thought this would be like cat pictures and stuff. Okay, fine. This is still all right, I guess. Just don't learn any practical skills or I'll be mad. Oh, but we do end up with a cat computer. Okay, I'm happy. Computer stuff, good. So let's get started. I want the money to start flowing in. We spent like half a million dollars on all this, okay? We gotta get rocking. I wanna see the money flow in. Oh, but we have staff on a break with nowhere to relax. They need a relaxation building? I, yeah, okay. Okay, look, we want the staff to be happy. If they unionize, that'd be a problem. Student unions, no biggie. Staff unions, I don't think so. There now, don't bother me. Profit-wise, right about 12 grand monthly profit. That's not bad. Oh, oh, whoa, everything's happening though. We got people learning over here. <laughs> They're not. Oh yeah, and the students are playing these things too. Ah, yes. The sound of my people. And of course, no one's in the library, probably because of that. Yep, yeah, don't blame them. What's this doing? Tuition, rent, XP, all right, money. We made 12 grand. Wait, we're at 25 grand monthly profit? Excuse me. What? Oh, thanks whoever dropped off the bag of money. Anyway, we want people to become friends at our beautiful campus here. That way, they're too afraid to drop out because of social pressure. I think there's clubs. I don't know what the orb club is, but look, if we can have some kind of club. Wait, the orb club. The orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. And we receive money from its members? It's like a cult. <laughs> yes. Praise be the orb. Orb statue? Absolutely. Orb, believe in the orb. Praise be the orb. Oh, look at this, there's even a lineup for people to go sign up. Beautiful. Everything's running really well. Profits at 25 grand per month, nice. Someone has medical issues though? All right, then we need a medical rooms. 
So be it. I'll give you both a physical and a mental health room. And it looks like that brought us to the end of the year. End of year ceremony will commence shortly. How good a job did I do? How much money did I make? What? Pass rates? Average exa- What? None of this matters. What was my profit margins? Average profit lost. 132 income, expenses. Okay. So we made 133 grand. That's not bad. Plus we had to build the entire school that year too. So hey, this expense number should drop dramatically. So for the next year, let's manage some courses. And what can we do here? 50 course points. We can upgrade these. Sure. We will upgrade that. We will upgrade that. Oh, and plus we got our $30,000 monthly profit. I don't know how, I don't know when, but we take those. But now I want to take more. All of our courses just got better, so we're just gonna automatically earn more money. Now, as a university, we're a tax-free organization. Can we invest? Loans, no. What? University endowment investing is how universities make most of their money. This, is that not here? Well, we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Okay, fair enough. Students, assemble. It is time to go to school. Give me your student loan money. I'm even cleaning up your little activities room for you. Look at all the fun you could possibly have here. Is this not worth a lifetime of unescapable debt? I think it is. Oh, and wait a second. We still have a bunch of campus requirements. Oh, from upgrading stuff. So we need another lecture theater, a VR lab, another computer lab, another teacher. Okay, dude. Well, if that's the case, then it looks like we need to have ourselves another building there, bud. Now let's get all the extra labs in here. So we needed an extra computer lab. Next door, we can have the VR thing. Or the teleporter? Dude, what the heck, man? That is some crazy VR stuff. Oh, dude, the chair. Oh, I get it. This isn't VR at all. This is brainwashing tools. All right, thank you, game. I'm picking up what you're putting down. And a lecture theater. So just one of these guys. Simple. Oh, and who could forget, though? More sign-up boosts for the orb. Oh, and people want a gym, too. Yeah, we can do that. Can add the cost of this onto their tuition and probably increase it by a good $3,000. But we also want this for marketing. So let's get like a rock climbing wall. It's a bit much, but man, our PR team is gonna have a field day with that. Oh yeah, our PR team, of course. We have all this room now. We gotta get the marketing department up and running. So throw them off in the corner here, nice and tucked away to do their evil doing. Are there any good marketers for hire right now? Not yet. So we might have to do something drastic. We might have to make our own marketer in the laboratory. I.e. <laughs> we gotta train one. And with this, we can take all of our people, like assistants, and we can train them to do whatever we want, like you. You are now the marketing lead. Congratulations. Oh, now we can have marketing campaigns. Uh, let's do one for the music. Yes. And repeat it. I always want this. Oh, I'm good, the marketing did well. Six extra student applications next year. Fantastic. But I've realized something kind of mission critical. Uh, there's nowhere for the people, students types to actually make food and stuff. So I'm making them a little microwave room so they can sustain themselves. And of course, we'll plaster it with propaganda everywhere. Plus, it looks like we've achieved our goal. Oh, we've achieved part one. And more importantly, we can get the orb monument. Praise be the orb right in the center of our university. Yes. No. More orb. Have one there. One here. Two more here. So people can sit and bear witness to the orb. My goodness. Where does the time go? $50,000 monthly profit. And another year gone. Let's view our awards. Oh, not, no, not these ones. The money one. Ah, yes. 
$324,000 of profit this year. Over a million dollars in income? That's what you like to see. And also 66 students are now indebted forever. You gotta love it. Oh, and one even failed. <laughs> oh yes, the joys of running a university. And also a cult, I guess. Anyway, I think that's gonna be all for now. So if you like the game, remember to check the first link in the description. But for now, have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye